Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the multi-billion dollar shipyard project that's getting started in Jamaica. Now, as you know, for quite some time now, Jamaica has been trying to become, or position itself to become a global logistics hub because of its proximity or geographical location to the Panama Canal, Jamaica is ideally situated for shipping. So Jamaica is now going, moving a step forward in building a shipyard where ships can be raised out of the water and repaired and upgraded. So this is definitely a step forward for Jamaica. So we're going to go through the article about the shipyard being built in Jamaica and then we discuss it after. Economic opportunities are expected to abound for Jamaica, abound for Jamaica through the establishment of a multi-billion dollar ship repair and maintenance facility in the country. Called the German Ship Repair Jamaica, GSRJ shipyard the project will provide dry docking, lifting the ship out of the water for commercial vessels up to 20,000 tons and a range of maintenance and repair services to vessels operating in and around the Caribbean and Central America. Phase 1 of the project, which is to be completed by October-November this year, is being undertaken at an overall cost of nearly 6 billion Jamaican dollars or US 37 million with financial partner Sajikor Bank committing to half of this amount as a bank loan. This will see the first floating dry dock Jam Dock 1 becoming operational. Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness who delivered the main address at the launch at the Kingston Harbour along the Sir Florizel Glasspool Highway said that this project will earn foreign exchange. It will provide high quality jobs and it will contribute greatly to the prosperity of our country, he added. Mr. Holness noted that the development will contribute to the positioning of Kingston Harbor as a global logistics hub, pointing out that each year Jamaica receives approximately 3,000 port calls while approximately 180,000 vessels operate within the region. With the, invest, with the investments that are being made in pro, improving Kingston as a logistic hub, we are certain that we have now closed one of the major gaps that have existed and that more ships passing through the region will be inclined to come to Jamaica, he said. For his part, GSRJ Limited Chief Executive Officer Colonel Martin Rickman said the project represents a new industry for Jamaica with great opportunities for other spin-off businesses, hence even contributing more to the economy. He pointed out that Jamaica's excellent geostrategic location makes the country particularly suitable for having a shipyard. Detailing the specific operations of the facility, Colonel Rickman explained that we are here at GSRJ shipyard, we'll be able to lift the sh that ship out of the water to conduct many types of work on the hull, the propeller, engine repairs and the entire nine yards. So this is significant for us. By international maritime law, all ships are required to be dry docked to check for safety and integrity once every five years and attain class certification. The CEO said that the training component of the project is crucial to enable workers to meet the international standards to carry out the required operations. He informed that some persons have already been trained. In his remarks, President and CEO of Sajikor Group, Christopher Zaka, said that as lead arranger, the organization is confident that this new development will make a significant impact on the country's shipping industry while also contributing to our productive economy. We want all Jamaicans to share the vision of the stakeholders. 
That is a big deal for Jamaica and we want Kingston to have the leading ship repair and servicing port in the Caribbean, Mr. Zaka said. The GSRJ partners include Haron and Partner Group, Germany, Kingston Holding, Jamaica, Klosko Group, Germany, and Hatsan Shipyard, Turkey. Government agencies involved in the project are the Development Bank of Jamaica, the National Land Agency, National Environmental and Planning Agency, the Attorney's General Department, and others. Several private sector entities are also involved in making a project a reality. The GSRJ started business in Jamaica in 2016 with the intention to build a ship repair facility at the Kingston Harbour to boost employment and introduce the country to viable economic activities in the shipping and maritime industry. Alright guys, so that's the end of the article, but this is excellent news for Jamaica. Because of where Jamaica is located, Jamaica is, is in a very good position to, this, to do this kind of work with ships. And also the Caribbean Maritime Institute is right on the Kingston Harbour as well. And that's a training institute for maritime persons. So Jamaica does have the expertise to, to do something like this. So this is very good news for Jamaica and it will help Jamaica move that much closer to being a global logistics hub. Alright guys, let us know what you think about the article. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.